plates, yeah, and he camps yeah, the top yeah. plat, I and, think. And Bart really likes his plastic plate. Yeah. yeah. So, all right, so we got Hydra. Hydra on the uh, Mario team, obviously, and uh, Kyoshiki on our Kirby team. And Kyoshiki, uh, surprise no uh, Fukuro, but maybe he doesn't want to play in the crew battle. So Kyoshiki, probably the strongest Kirby. Oh, for sure. And Hydra. I think we're going to see a Kiyoshiki train. I think uh, he's going to run through at least one person. Uh, I think he's, he likely has he has the advantage here. I would say that Hydra's definitely the underdog. Oh, yeah, that's going to be stuck. Look at that. Yep. That's it. That's really nice. Man, Kirby's down tilt. He's got so many weapons. And they're all his feet. Yeah. Oh my God. That's good point. That's only. That's poignant. That's actually poignant. <laughs> it's sad. <laughs> so many weapons. And they're all his feet. Deep thoughts with Jimmy Jones protagonist. There it is. Feet. Ooh. Oh, only two. Hydra narrowly avoids losing his stock there. Oh. Kyoshi played um, Fukuro really closely in some of that set. Really, really a strong player. Game Kyoshi. one, though, Fukuro uh, just demolished him, four stocked him. So when he, he's like a player that seems like when he gets in his flow. Look at that upward DI! Yeah. He's able to DI up so he's uh, Hydra can't follow with a second down air and just push him all the way down. And and I'm sure Hydra is perfectly content in giving away a stock for one of Kyoshi's stocks. Yeah, if he had to, right? Typically Mario's can make it back um, two down airs and still make it back, but yeah, I, I'm sure he would be content, especially looking at how it's going right now. But there's a stock. So Hydra only down stock here now. Kirby, the rare non-foot attack. <laughs> yeah, and that's a trade that Kyoshi will definitely take. Unfortunately, there's not much that uh, the plumber can do. Oh! Oh, wow. here we go! Here we go! Oh, Kyoshiki's oh, still getting back. A lot of down airs. Some excellent edge pull for both players. Oh, and he didn't do a second jump because he wanted a weak up air there. A weak up air would have comboed into an up smash, likely. Oh. Wow. Oh. That's a dash attack. I wonder if he wanted a forward smash. I oh, think he probably did. Yeah. Great recovery to the uh, top plat, too, from uh, Hydra. Oh, down air. Ooh. <laughs> I heard, we heard Dark Horse go, I knew it! There it is, down to Yeah, that's it. And Kyoshiki will go out as far as he needs to, because it's last stock, he just wants to finish him off. Yeah. So what, Hydra got one, right? One. Yeah, okay. Just one. And Kyoshiki waves to the crowd. Looking very strong now. So, I think the, the All right. Hydra and Kimimaru are the... Oh, you know what? I think they're kind of in order, potentially, of... Of power? Of power, yeah. yeah. Of perceived power. Okay, okay. You are... Let's let's pretend for a minute. You're the Mario captain. Who do you send out? Kimimaru. Kimimaru. Without a doubt. I agree. Out and out. You do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to. Here he comes. What's the point of sending out someone who's not going to take a single stock? It's wasting all all of their stocks. Yeah. You know. So, realistically, you're. I mean, if I'm gonna, unless you're factoring in p specific player matchups, mm -hmm. and maybe one player's style happens to counter another, um, I think your best bet, like logically, is to send out your your players in order strongest to weakest. Okay. okay. It doesn't make much sense to, to do it yeah. any other way now that I'm kind of thinking about it because 
I don't know. Like I said, aside from certain players counter countering others, because your strongest player will take the most stocks off of other people, and if your weak people are in against their strong people, it's a waste of your weak people's stocks because maybe they could take stocks off the other team's weak players. You know? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose you're right. Um, ignoring ignoring player player circle uh, and uh, player advantage situation. Yeah, you're right. I mean, both so far we've seen the players who send out their strongest people first have a lot of success, right? Brody wiped through all of Samus. So, they send out Kimi Morrow, like we kind of mentioned, which I think was the right decision. But you're still dealing with a very good Kirby, so. Yeah. Oh, and he does think extended up B. Oh, a pivot Edgehog. That was nice. It was nice. He's blending, he's blending right into the background, too. Mean green Kirby. Oh! Well, I mean, red Kirby blends into the background for colorblind people, so... Oh, really? I mean, red, green, colorblind. Oh, interesting. That's so weird that that's a thing to me, because I feel like they're two colors that stand out apart so much. I know it's obviously it's a physical thing, but... Anyway. Um... Man, if Kimi Mar has success here, maybe the Mario team has a shot. Oh, that was so nice, that fastball in the air to pin him in shield. Oh, nice. That's going to be a stock off of Kiyoshiki and one that they need. One that they need. Desperately. desperately. Yeah. Zoning with those fireballs. <laughs> yep. that's, that's how you do it. Oh, here we go. A couple nares. Oh, and Kyoshki quickly gets out of it with his own nair. Oh. I see your fireballs. <laughs> I have feet. Yeah, fire is nothing compared to feet. <laughs> Look at these feet. <laughs> they make up 40% of my mass. <laughs> <laughs> they really do, right? It's quite a calculation. <laughs> But I think it's somewhat accurate. Actually, they're probably more of his mask. <laughs> yeah, like a floaty probably. mass. I mean, overall area. Goddamn. <laughs> 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 but mass, you know, that's. Ooh. Kind of pretty good roll, I guess, from Kimi Mario. Like, what do you do if your back is facing Kirby and you're shielding and he forward smashes you? Weird situation, but. Oh, no jump? Oh my god, he almost made it back with that big old extend, though. The Kyoshiki was ready for him. Yeah. Maybe he was hoping Kyoshiki would run away and practice tech skill, but he's not an American player. Oh, oh. the call out oh. Kyoshiki. Kyoshiki laughs. You can see him smiling through the mask and the glasses and the hat. He laughed at that one. What a call out. <laughs> I'd be remiss to forget to mention, though, that... These guys don't even play on this version, you know? The Japanese version's quite different. Ah, uh, that's true. So they're that good at a version that they're not as comfortable with. Ah, uh, I feel embarrassed now. Yeah, let me leave leave everyone with that thought if you weren't feeling inferior enough seeing them come over here and just be so damn good. Oh, great down smash! <laughs> Oh, he, I think he wanted to push off something instead of like just opting for a grab. But Kyoshiki reacted so quick with that nair once he was pushed off. Oh, let's see. Uh, oh, the Wispy, win. come on. That's funny. Kimmy's being pretty careful here with fireballs. He's got high percent, but look, he can he can do this. He can take away. Kyoshiki's last stock and have a stock to face the next Kirby player potentially. This could go very differently if he wins this one stock, which likely is not going to happen now that he's down here. Yeah. Wow. Good wow. job, Kyoshiki. Takes out Kimi Maru and Hydra, both brothers. And the two strongest Mario players, Chet Dunskis and Paco. Not familiar with. Uh, how good they are. 
So I know, uh, Chet Dunsky's is pretty good. Uh, I don't know anything about Paco. Though. So he's just got to do one. But if you think about how tall of an order that is, Hydra did one, and Kimi Maru did two. Mm, yeah. It's a tall order to get a stock off this guy. And then you've got to go through Horby afterwards. This is rough. Forget it. This is really rough. Forget it. You're never going to do it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's going to be rough, man. Ooh, some tech. Fast fall. Or fast fall. Flat drop. Fast fall up air. It's a mouthful. As hard to say as it is to do, some would argue. They're going right into it. So you gotta get one, Chet. Can you do it? Smart attack away percent. That's what you gotta do, I think. Kirby is great. Don't rush in. Oh, oh, he gets he out of there. Oh, look. Smash there for sure. Yeah. Did you see that DI, though? It was incredible. Goodness, after he... After Mario did that down air. Oh. oh. Yep. Wow. Precisely placed back airs. Yeah. Just so nice. He's not even trading. Like, Chet's got to figure out a way. Oh, this is Paco. Okay. So Paco's got to figure out a way to, to at least get some trades. Oh, there that'll do it. Nice. Way to go, Paco. Nice, Paco. And that, that's great. He only loses one stock. So, man, if he could do well against Horby, they could be back in this. Let's see who else. Uh, Biz and Danky Kang. Okay. All right. I remember seeing Biz in uh, in some of the top doubles matches. Uh, yeah? Yeah. Who was he with? Who was he with? Ah, I don't recall. Horby's good, though, man. Yeah, he is. He is. And he's played a lot against... Oh, he knows Mario pretty well. He knows the game pretty well. Um, he uses that GameCube controller with a RafNet adapter. Shoutouts to Raphael. Uh, not the same Raph that we talk about when we say, talk about Mad Rush, but... I believe uh, Rafnet is located in Canada. Yep, yep. Yeah, okay. Ooh, you guys should do some kind of partnership line. If you're not and Rafnet come together to make you the most, the ultimate console. <laughs> Plug any controller directly into the N64. <laughs> uh, there's been discussion along that line. Oh, uh, not not specifically with Rat Ratnet, but uh, Pizza and I were talking about this. Nice. Man, that's cool. All right, so Horby looking pretty good right now, and I don't think Paco's making it back here. Or B was running off doing tech skills, so maybe the Kimi Morrow trick might have worked, but he didn't have a second jump. And Horby knew that. I don't think he would have. Oh, and he ah, saw that up smash almost come out, right? Yeah. Oh! And Horby loves to do that. He will Oh, great! He got a lot of distance on that. Horby loves to duck under aerials and just down tilt. It's so effective. Especially, you know, when you're ledge hopping. Oh, man. Here we go. Come on, Paco. Show us your moves. Yeah, get one more, Paco. Come on. Got one off Kyoshiki. Kyoshiki. Oh, oh. He doesn't jump the eye the down air at all. Ah, yep. Yeah. That's him doing it. No, he's got no jump. So no. Horby doesn't even lose a stock here, and the Mario Bros, as they should probably be called, <laughs> uh, are down to their last one. Chet Dunsky. Chet Dunsky. What a name. What a Chet name. Dunsky. That is a really cool name. That sounds like a fake name that like you'd see in a sitcom. <laughs> Someone's like, uh, who's calling? And they're like, Chet Dunsky. Just pull out the most random name out of your. <laughs> I wonder if that's his. If that was his actual name, that would be amazing. 
He does look like a Chet Dunsky, he though. He does maybe. look right? like a Chet. If you're going to look like a Chet, yeah. Chets are cool. Chets yeah. are right. They're cool, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Chet. Chet. Chet Dunsky. Almost sounds like Chad. <laughs> Chad. Oh, yeah, but less, like, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. Less, like, bro y. <laughs> Less like Guy Fieri vibes, and more like hippie vibes. Oh, and Morby just all over these techs and all over Chet. Ah, Be a bro, Horby. Horby, come on. Have some mercy. Chet's just trying to chill. <laughs> oh, and Chet is going right in at him, too. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, which is which is more or less exactly what you don't want to do against Kirby. Yeah, you gotta take you time, take you time. Uh, he manages to DI off the platform. Look, he's coming right back at him. I think he's Man, I mean, it's, some people that's just their playstyle. They're just so aggro. But I think he's got to slow it down a bit. The rush oh. down playstyle. Yeah. Yeah. Great dash attack for Morby. Morby's really come into his own in this past year, you know. He really has. He's really helped me personally, too, from uh, being from my region, getting to play him a bunch. His improvement has helped me make improvement, you know, and especially in the Kirby matchup. Yeah. Um, I was able to beat players that I don't think people expected me to beat, but I, I contributed strictly to playing against Morby. You know, we have a lot of close matches in the Pika. Kirby matchup. Sure, and your improvement has, has definitely shown. Well, thanks, man. Es especially in the last, you know, uh, six or eight months. Yeah, I definitely contribute a lot of that to Horby. You know, you know play him and, and Dark Gentleman and Fyro. The, the more people in your region, I think, that play near your level above or above or slightly below, I think it really helps. Horby just look like a beast right now. He plays more than Kirby, but his Kirby's just so good in tournament. He really has a lot of other characters, though, too. Oh, does he? Yep. Who else does Horby play? Falcon, Fox, Mario, Jigglypuff. No joke. Yeah, guy's, guy's got a nice cast. Wow. I have only ever played his, his Kirby. Yeah, that's the only, all he plays in uh, tournament. Mo for the most part, yeah, regional and, and nationals. But he's played a bunch of Falcon against me in tournament. Um... Falcon and Kirby. Yeah. Fox Falcon. So this is the one that we're really excited to see.